Washington fertility rates are down nearly 10 percent since 2016. Isn't that wild? And while infertility is often considered a women's health issue, one third of infertility cases are man caused. And this morning to give more insight surrounding male infertility, Dr. Laura Shaheen with Pacific Northwest Fertility. Dr. Shaheen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. And you have great perspective because you're dealing with this every single day. So if you can, talk about some of the, the common misconceptions that uh, folks have surrounding male infertility. Absolutely. Well, you touched on something. Most people think it's a woman's issue, but you said a third. It can be even up to 50 percent of the time male factor infertility is a part of the issue and and so we, we were talking as we were going into this segment like some of the misconceptions that people have about why guys may be infertile and, and what are were some of the, the common ones that, that you hear and maybe poke some holes in that <laughs> absolutely well the true causes can be anything from chronic illness a viral infection even COVID temporarily um, some medications lifestyle things but my patients often ask about boxers versus right. breeds bike riding, hot tubs, and um, the evidence really varies. Uh, some studies say boxers might allow the temperature to be a little bit lower, which can sometimes help production and function, but a lot of these myths are just really don't hold up in the literature. How common is male infertility? Um, at least 50% of the one in six couples in the United States that are suffering from infertility, at least 50% of the time there'll be a male factor component. And, and do, do we know an exact cause? Per se, we've talked about some of the misconceptions, but 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 yeah. what 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 is doing it? Right, it can be something with that person as far as health issues, lifestyle factors. There's a lot of evidence and research into environmental factors causing mm. issues with fertility. So sperm counts are on the decline through the decades, and we're still trying to piece together exactly what the cause so, may be. So any idea why fertility rates would be down in our state, in our state particularly, 10% since 2016? That's that's a wild number. It is. It's multifactorial. Sometimes it's people are just not choosing to have kids. They're starting later in life. Um, and a lot of the health issues that we're talking about can be a, a part of it. And so you're, you're right in the middle of this. I, I've known so many couples who've had to go through fertility treatments to, to have a child. And, and almost every case, there's success now, <laughs> which, which is really incredible. You, you talk about a, a trying circumstance for a couple. Absolutely. And it's so great that they're able to share that with you because I think we're getting away from the stigma and shame of infertility so your friends are sharing it with you. Mm -hmm. Finding the community and finding resources to really help you is key. Uh, that's that's awesome. So what would you suggest to couples when it comes to family planning and potentially treating infertility? Uh, make no assumptions. Get testing early. So don't assume if you've had a baby in the past that you still have a great sperm count. Get tested and find resources. You know, I love teaching on social media. I love my podcast, Baby or Bust. Two other resources I always recommend to my patients, Resolve.org, a wonderful organization, and Fertility Out loud a great website with a lot of blogs information and a wonderful fertility outreach you can actually text with fertility coaches so the That's help huge. is out there that's huge. And I mean, just the fact that so many of my friends that I've seen in, in my life are having success through these treatments. I mean, it shows that we've gone a long way, right? Absolutely. I've been doing this for almost 20 years, and it is incredible to see what the technology has done in my own career. Dr. Laura Shaheen, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, great perspective there.